Share and Creech by Cindy Esquivel. Sharon Creech was born July 29, 1945, in South Lucid, Ohio. She is an American novelist of children's fiction. She has three brothers, Dennis, Doug, and Tom, and one sister, Sandy, whom she has based the characters in Absolutely Normal Chaos and Ruby Holler. Creech recommends her book, Absolutely Normal Chaos, for a fictional view of her family life. In fact, one of the most interesting things about Sharon Creech is how she has added aspects of her own life into her books. Her brother Tom currently resides in Kent, Ohio, with his wife Marty and their three children, Sandra, Mary, and Annie. Annie was the basis of a character in Heartbeat. Every year, the Creech family has visited Quincy, Kentucky. This is the inspiration for the town of Bybanks, which has appeared in the following books, Chasing Redbird, Bloomability, Walk to Moons, and The Wanderer. Her grandmother plays a part in Granny Tornelli Makes Soup. She has received her bachelor's degree from Hiram College, and she received a master's degree from George Mason University. In 1979, she moved to Surrey, England. In addition to her being a writer, she has taught English and writing at a high school and a boarding school called the American School in Switzerland. It was during this time that she was teaching in England that Creech's first books were published. Sharon has said that she has learned more about story and people during those years than from any other source. She drew the setting of Bloomability from her experiences in Switzerland. Her first two books, now out of print, were for adults. With the publication of her first book for children, Absolutely Normal Chaos, Creech began her career as a children's author. She is married to Lyle Rigg, who was headmaster of the Pennington School in Pennington, New Jersey, with whom she has two children, Rob and Karen. Sharon Creech has written more than a dozen children's books, including several picture books. They are A Fine, Fine School, Fishing in the Air, which is about a father and son fishing trip, and who's that baby? Most of her books are award-winning novels for 9 to 12 year olds. They include Replay, which was published in 2005, Granny Tornelli Makes Soup, published in 2003, in which she creates a larger-than-life character who we can fall in love with. It is about a girl who loves so hard and who is lucky enough to have such a wise grandmother. This was published in 2003. Sharon Creech became the first American writer to win English prestigious Carnegie Medal for Ruby Holler in 2002. This is a teenage book in which she shows a great respect for teens by giving them attention to the voices, creating adventures for them where the teenagers grow socially and emotionally. She captures the language and dialect as well. Ruby Holler is a book about the so-called Trouble Twins. Their names are Dallas and Florida, who seem destined to become permanent residents of the Boxton Creek Home for Children, located in Ruby Holler. It is a dismal orphanage run by the equally dismal Trepids and their overworked assistant, Morgan, who is also known as Chief Gopher. In the story, you learn about Tiller and Sari Morey. They are a 60-year-old couple willing to take Dallas and Florida, but just long enough to help them accomplish their dream trips to far-off places. Then it's back to the orphanage for the twins. Or at least, that's the plan. Sharon Creech won the award for the Gloria Claudia Lewis Poetry Award and Christopher Award for Love That Dog. 
It is a funny picture book of a child's encounter with the power of poetry. It's about a young boy named Jack who can't stand poetry. He has to find a way to come to grips with poetry because his teacher loves the stuff and keeps giving the class poetry assignments. Then one day something clicks and Jack finds a voice he never knew he had. The Wanderer, a 2001 Newbury Honor Book, is about a 13-year-old girl her name is Sophie and she loves the sea. She longs to see Bompai, where her grandfather lives in England. It is about her three uncles and two cousins who decide to sail over the Atlantic Ocean to Ireland and then to England to visit her grandfather. This book is written in the form of journals that Sophie and her friend Cody keep during their journey. The mystery builds as the book progresses. Walk Two Moons, for which Creech received the 1995 Newbery Medal, is about a girl named Salamanca Tree Heidel, a 13-year-old who lives on a farm in Bybex, Kentucky. Most people call her Sal. She is taking a road trip with her grandparents. About a year ago, Sal and her father moved to Elicit, Ohio, when they learned that their mother was not coming back. Sal and her grandparents will arrive there for her mother's birthday. The journey gives Sal a chance to relive presage moments with her mother. The book, Heartbeat, was a finalist in the junior division 4 to 6th grades of the Young Reader's Choice Awards, sponsored by the Pacific Northwest Library Association. This book is about a girl whose name is Annie. She loves to run. Sometimes her friend Max joins her. Running is a place where she can set her own pace and think about things. Sharon Creech is known for writing with a classic voice and a unique style. She has a knack for storytelling and a love of reading.